Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to learn one of the most important things and fundamental things in maths which are the sign rules. What are the rules for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now before I can proceed, I would request you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have not done yet, please do not forget to press the bell icon. So uh, let's move ahead and start learning the rules step by step. The first rule which I am going to teach you is the sign rule for multiplication now there is a reason i am not choosing addition or subtraction prior to multiplication as we come to the end of the video you're going to learn the reason why so what is the sign rule for uh, this thing a positive number multiply a po by a positive number is going the result is also going to be positive so let's check out an example a positive number and a positive number the result is uh, positive over here so, so for multiplication the operations there are two things i have done in this video the one is the operation and the sign so the operation here consistently remains uh you know multiplication so i'm not going to touch uh highlight that over here as i'm discussing the video so next is a negative number multiply by negative number is going to give you a positive number so you see minus 3 into minus 5 will be plus 15. so when the signs are same you have the result is sign is positive so then you have positive number multiplied by negative number the end result is negative here is an example plus 3 into minus 5 is minus 15 to plus 5 into minus 3 is 15 over here then the next one a negative number multiplied by a positive number will give you a negative result so you can see minus 3 into plus 5 is minus 15 and there is another example over here so when the signs are uh, when the both signs are uh, uh, the same your uh, result will be positive that's a sign and when both these signs are opposite your answer would be negative so that is what you need to remember the sign rule for multiplication when you multiply the same signs the answer is always positive and when you multiply the opposite signs the result is always negative next we move on to the sign rule for division so if you have picked up the sign rule for addition for division it's exactly the same so what we have a positive number divided by positive number will give you a positive result so you can see here again the operation is consistent entire thing is division so i'm not highlighting it again and uh, the sign just like in maths when you have positive number divided by a positive number will give you a positive sign and uh, when you divide a negative number with a negative number you get a again a positive sign so you see minus 3 divided by minus 6 you will get positive uh, 0.5 over here next we move on to when the numbers are you know, opposite like so positive number divided by negative number will give you negative result answer over here positive number divided by negative number gives you a negative result and vice versa negative number divided by positive number is going to be always negative so you can see over here negative 3 divided by uh, for the positive 6 is going to give you negative to, to sum it up the rule is the same as in multiplication when you divide the same signs the answer is always positive so plus upon plus or minus upon plus or minus the sign will always be positive and when you divide the opposite sign that's plus divided by minus or minus divided by plus the result is always going to be negative now let's move to the sign rule for addition so what does this rule state a positive number plus a positive number will give you a positive result so uh, here is where the operations will come into place you can see the for the first two it will be addition and then subtraction so that's why i will highlight addition over here so what you need to do the operation is addition and the sign will be the same so plus 3 plus 5 will be 8 and we can check out another example uh, plus 5 plus 3 is also going to be 8 a negative number when added to a negative number will give you a negative result so what is the operation over here you add both the numbers and the sign will be the same that is this sign so minus 3 and minus 5 what you do is 5 plus 3 is 8 and here again we we'll take another example 5 plus 3 is 8 over here and the sign will be negative now the third one when you add a positive uh, number 
when a positive number you add to a negative number the sign can be positive or negative now here the operation what you do is subtraction so what you do is you subtract the greater number from the smaller number and you put the sign of the greater number so we have two numbers over here plus 3 and minus 5 so what you are going to do straightforward 5 minus 3 is 2 and sign of the greater number is minus 5 over here so it's going to be minus 2 let's take another example so the greater number is 5 the smaller number is 3 so 5 minus 3 is 2 and sign of the greater number here is plus 5 so the other way around a negative number when you add to a positive number the sign can be plus or minus over here so what is the rule again same as this so you uh, operation will be subtraction uh, the from the I mean uh, subtract the bigger number smaller number from the bigger number and uh, the sign will be of the greater number so you have the same similar example over here minus 3 plus 5 so 5 minus 3 is 2 sign of the bigger number is 2 let's take another example minus 5 plus plus 3 over here so 5 minus 3 that's a bigger number uh, <coughs> bigger number minus smaller number is 2 and sign of the bigger number which is negative 5 so these are the rule for addition so i'm just going to uh, highlight for you uh, that the fact that this is a rule for addition but you need to remember that when the signs are the same the operation involved is addition and when the signs are, are different the operation involved is subtraction and uh, when the signs are same you can see over here you will get the same sign and when it is different you will have the sign of the greater number so that's what i have just highlighted for you when you add the same sign the resultant sign can be a positive or negative if it's plus and plus the answer is going to be plus if it's minus minus the answer is going to be minus and when you add the opposite signs like plus minus or minus plus the answer will be the sign of the greater or the bigger number it will be plus or minus then finally let's move to the last rule which is the sign rule for subtraction sign rule for subtraction now you remember me telling you at the start of the video that i didn't take up uh, addition or subtraction before multiplication you're going to understand in this particular slide so a positive uh, number minus a uh, positive number will give you a positive or a negative sign now how this is you know seems strange you know how can a positive minus positive be positive or negative let me explain so you see over here the op operation involved is subtraction similar to addition so what you do is you subtract the greater number uh, i mean you subtract the smaller number from the greater number and you put the sign of the greater number now let's take an example over here how a positive uh, when two positives when you subtract it can still be negative so here you have a plus three and you have a negative sign in between and you have a plus five the answer of which is negative two so how do you get you know plus uh, plus minus plus uh, negative over here is for the simple reason that so what your uh, rule states that similar to addition you subtract the bigger number from the smaller number so 5 minus 3 is 2 and the sign is of the greater number so what is the sign of the number over here plus 5 so you should get a plus right no it is wrong you you have to have it minus now why let me explain so you see there is a uh, minus and a plus sign and in between you have this bracket what this bracket indicates is you need to multiply so negative multiply by positive will become negative so the bigger number sign will become negative smaller will be plus 2 hence negative 2 and uh, this is precisely the reason why i taught you multiplication first so if you don't understand this concept that minus multiply by uh, plus is going to be minus and or plus multiply by minus is going to be minus so if you don't understand the sign rule of multiplication first you can never get your subtraction or addition rules correct so i hope you got this particular point let check check out another one so you have plus five minus plus 3 so what does the rule state you subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so you have 5 minus 3 is 2 and 
the sign of the greater number. So you don't pick up, you solve this first. So minus into plus is uh, minus over here. So 3 is smaller, sign of the greater number is 2. So then we take uh, the second one that is uh, negative number minus negative number is going to be again giving you a positive or negative result. Same over here. The operation here is subtraction and the sign is of the greater number. So 5 minus uh, 3, what do you get? 2. Now to get the uh, sign over here, you need to first solve this. So minus into minus is plus. So sign of the greater number is 5 over here and not minus 5. So the answer will be positive 2. And if you do another uh, example over here, minus 5 minus minus 3. So 5 minus 3 is 2. The sign of the greater number, you don't pick up this directly. You need to first solve this. Minus into minus is plus. So the sign of the smaller number is plus over here. The third one, when you uh, subtract a posit positive number minus negative number, the answer is always going to be positive. So what you do over here? So you see again here that as I had mentioned for subtraction and uh, additions, there are two things you need to know. What is the operation involved and what is going to be the sign over here? So positive minus negative, the operation is addition. So why? You're going to see in this particular example and the sign is always going to be positive. So let's say this particular example, you have a plus 3 minus minus 5. So what do you do? You solve this. Minus into minus is plus. So plus 3 and plus 5, your answer is going to be plus 8. Now let's take a different example. You have plus 3 minus minus 3. So minus into minus is again plus over here. So you see in both the cases that this may be a plus minus or this may be a bigger number or smaller number. Your answer will always be positive 8. Then the last one over here is a negative number minus positive number will always give you a negative result. So the operation involved here is what again? Addition and the sign will be always negative. Let's solve a couple of examples. You have a negative 3 minus positive 5. So what do you have? Minus into plus is minus. So negative 3 minus 5. So what do you do? Minus 3 and minus 5 you're going to add. 5 plus 3 is 8 and the sign is going to be negative since both are negative. And uh, here again minus 5 minus plus 3 over here minus minus plus. So plus minus is minus. So minus 5 minus 3 is again going to be 8 over here. So you see that for sign rule for subtraction, when you subtract the same signs in a positive and positive and negative and negative, the sign can be uh, positive or ne uh, negative. That is depending on the sign of the greater number. And do remember here that you need to solve this before picking up the, especially in the case of subtraction, uh, actually you need to do the same for addition also, but uh, it is not so highlighted a problem over here. So in case of subtraction, especially make sure you solve this particular thing first and then choose the correct sign. And when you subtract the opposite side, like plus into minus, it's going to be plus. And when it's going to be minus, you subtract with plus, it's going to be a fixed minus. So answers can be plus or minus. That's why I mentioned here subjective. So I hope that you like this particular uh, video, do share it across and if you found any difficulties, do let me know your feedback in the comment section. Until the next video, take care and be safe.